Okay, so the countdown at Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 continues, and now we are on Captain America Winter Soldier. And spoilers. Duh. There's your warning. Now, um, I gotta say, this is probably one of the most solid and standalone movies in Phase 2. Probably the best standalone movie in Phase 2. And we get to see you know cap captain america more up to speed with basically with today's world and the technology and everything like that and um what i would have liked is to see his reunion with with peggy carter i would have liked to have seen that but when we do see that he's visiting her it just like it's like like past to where she where she sees him for the first time and i guess i guess um i guess that's okay because you know she um you know, had, I think she had Alzheimer's, and when she talked to him, and then she had a moment where she, you know, you know what happens, you know, the effects, like, where she, will, and then she, re like, sees him again, like, it's her first time seeing him, like, Steve, oh my god, man. Fuck Marvel for trying to give me the feels, and, su and successfully doing it. Fuck you, Marvel, <laughs> for doing that. <laughs> but, um... And then the next thing we know, um, we find out that um, there's a Winter Soldier. He's basically, you know, tried to, you know, tried to kill Nick Fury uh, a, a couple times, and where it seems like he did kill him successfully the second time, and and then not too, and then we eventually find out that the Winter Soldier is mm, Steve's homeboy, his bro, Bucky Barnes, and um, actually. I, I actually knew that, you know, like the, in the from the comic book history, but um, I've seen this movie more than once. When I saw it, like the second or third time, I heard people below me gasp when they revealed when they revealed that it was Bucky. Like, <gasps> <gasps> so I was just up, I was just up in my seat laughing, like <laughs> just with satisfaction, like, yep. That that's pretty awesome that they didn't know that. <laughs> so um, that basically puts Captain America in the pickle, like where he is forced to go against his best friend to you know stop Hydra, and Hydra is basically taking over Shield and everything, you know, and it's ridiculous. And and that dickhead senator from Iron Man Two, it turns out he works he works for Hydra as well. Like what? And then um. And then people that Nick Fury, you know, trust, you know, that he trusts for years, like one of them, he works for Hydra, and, oh, uh, shit. And then Hydra just fucks things up for, for Captain America in this movie, even though they, it, it feels like they kind of lost, and, yeah, they basically kind of lost it at the end of the movie, kind of. And, um, but, you know, um, Winter Soldier's starting to get some of his memory back, and, which is... I guess that's what basically stopped them from killing Captain America like in the final act and the final battle between those two. And I gotta say, that shield, man, you really feel the danger, you feel the threat of his shield in this movie. You know, like when he throws it and it hits a van and you know when, he, when it hits a van or, and, or if it goes through a submarine or whatever, I mean, you're like, damn, I think I would be dead or in serious have serious injuries if that shield hit me <laughs> like for realsies and they made captain america a lot more badass he fights better and he's basically like he's like king shit in this movie now i mean like and he still has the boy scout qualities that he requires but still they had a perfect balance there so without all being said it gets five i said it gets five solid you know like shield swings out of five <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, disagree if you will, but it's a fantastic movie. And then we get an end credit scene introducing Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. And then, you know, that's something to be ready for, like when we see them in Avengers Age of Ultron. And then we get Bucky going to the museum, and then he basically sees, you know, like the... um. You know the outfits from like you know from his time period in the first Captain America movie, and then I guess his memory is, you know, recovering, and they left it as that. So yeah, this was epic, and um, 
If you guys enjoyed my review on this movie, make sure you thumb up the video and click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>